let's look at multiplying larger polynomials. We've been looking at problems that only have two terms in each of the polynomials, but you can have as many terms as you want, and the system for multiplying doesn't change. Likewise, you're not limited to whole numbers. A lot of my students panic when they see a fraction in a problem, but that doesn't change how you treat the problem. So we're going to look at two examples. We'll be multiplying a trinomial times a binomial, and then doing a second problem containing fractions. So I've got the problem 3x minus 5 times the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 2. Again, I'm going to set up my multiplication array. First, I will be multiplying each term in x squared minus 4x plus 2 by 3x. And that would give me 3x to the third minus 12x squared plus 6x. Then I'm going to multiply my trinomial again by negative 5. And that would be negative 5x squared plus 20x minus 10. I'm going to simplify that. So first I'll have 3x to the third. I'll notice that I've got two terms with x squared in them. So I'll be combining those to get negative 17x squared. I also have two terms that contain an x. So that would be 26x. And I'll of course have the negative 10. So that would give me 3x to the third minus 17x squared plus 26x minus 10. Next, we're going to look at a situation involving fractions. I'm going to set up the multiplication array by placing the 2m squared minus 3m minus 1 on top of the array. And then I'll be multiplying that by 3 fourths m plus 2, which I'm going to put on the side. So now I'm going to multiply this out. That's 2m squared times 3 fourths m, which gives me 6 fourths m to the third, or 1 and a half m to the third. And I have negative 3m times 3 fourths m, which gives me negative 9 fourths m squared. Or as a mixed number, that's negative 2 and 1 fourth m squared. And then I have negative 1 times 3 fourths m, which of course is negative 3 fourths m. Next, I'll be multiplying the trinomial by 2. That would give me 4m squared minus 6m minus 2. You notice that I have some like terms and that they are diagonal from each other in my array. When I am totaling this up, I need to make sure I combine my like terms. This would give me a final answer of 1 and a half m to the third plus 1 and 3 fourths m squared minus 6 and 3 fourths m minus 2.